So we now will do the installation of the new Umbrel. Uh, we you use x86 system uh, to install. We will need a mini PC. In this case, I have this here with for uh, six gigabytes of RAM and one hundred and twenty eight gigabytes of internal storage. There is a processor Intel N4000. Um, this is the dongle for my Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi, no, uh, my keyboard and mouse, uh, energy cable, uh, my storage of two, tera two terabytes of storage. Uh, it's a HDD and the internal the internet cable this is my setup for my PC mini PC so first of first of all we will need to prepare a bootable USB stick we have to download our EOS Bravo OS and the Balena Hacker to burn the stick okay so your mini PC uh, your USB stick uh, needs at minimum four gigabytes of storage. In this case, I will use with this 32 gigabytes. I will stick in my PC, install the OS, the Umbra OS, and I I already have downloaded the two files. First of all, I will execute Balena Etcher. Uh, let's wait a little bit and now we have to select our ISO system this is the Umbra OS click in OK open select target you have to select your west based stick in this case I will select my 32 gigabytes west based stick click in select and now click in flash uh, the Windows will ask you to authorize the uh, authorize uh, the permission, and let's wait some some time. Right now, the flash is completed. Your USB stick is ready to install Umbrel. Okay, so you can detach from your PC and connect it in your uh, mini PC. So now I will get to insert on my mini PC and now we have to configure your boot uh, your boot of the operational system and to boot from the USB stick. Okay. So the first screen that will appear to you is a screen to install your uh, umbrella. The first one is our USB stick, and the second one is the internal storage. I will select my internal storage, uh, and now you have to wait. In this case, I will install in the external drive the blockchain, or you can select to install another application from Umbrel, okay, so you can uh, use this tutorial also. Uh, right now, we you log in in the system, let's wait to boot, uh, at this time I removed the USB stick from my mini PC, Mini PC. Now we have to log in. Uh, the login password is Umbrel, the default password and default login. And now we use this sudo bl kid. Uh, again, we will select the. So now you can see with this command all the or uh, devices that are connected in your mini PC and see that the last one is the 
part UID that we have to select to we have to, you have to get this part UID to use uh, again okay so you have to to copy this this guy and use the command sudo nano slash etc etc slash f f s t a b okay uh, all this command i will let in the description to you to use okay so just go to this the description of the video to to this command and right now we have to edit this file okay uh, we have to put the part uid that we have uh, copied from the previous command okay and we have to put in this file here uh, you have to use slash dev slash disk by uh, slash by part uid slash your part uid that you have uh, copied okay uh, and sla space slash mmt slash sda slash auto uh, let's wait a little bit mmt slash sda slash space e auto to n o s u i d uh, no n o n o d a v no fail e x g u f s show f x f g v f s name equals s d a zero zero okay so after that you have to put another line in this file slash mnt slash sda slash bitcoin slash space uh, slash home slash umbrow slash umbrow slash app data slash bitcoin slash data slash bitcoin num bing non bing so you have to be sure that all the code is uh, all these lines are correctly written okay uh, if don't they will not um, properly run okay so uh, you have to confirm every single part of these two lines that we have uh, added in the file and click on control x <coughs> and now you can log in on your uh umbrel but via browser okay you click next and you have to restart your uh mini pc with umbrel okay to the um, altering that we did uh works okay so you wait to restart the umbrel syst os system and wait to to works when they begin when they umbrel start right now i I'm installing the Bitcoin node after restart the OS. So let's wait. I will open and see if the external 
storage is working properly uh, I will see uh, the block the the storage if is has been using the the Bitcoin folder is slash dev slash sdir one and if you see you can uh, can understand that the blockchain is being downloaded in the correct file with one percent you can see that the that slash dev slash sdir one is now receiving all the data of the bitcoin blockchain okay this is the video thank you